Good morning. So I just woke up, as y'all can see, I'm still looking crazy. Anyway, so um, so I did a video last night on astral travel, and this morning <clears throat> I wanted to do another video on um, the RH negative blood types because there's um, they're a rare blood type, and um, a lot of people don't know anything about their blood type, like. Most people don't even know their blood type, but if they do, you know, that's good. But I'm an A negative and um, A negative blood type, B negative blood type, A B negative blood type, O negative blood type. These um, blood types are very rare and uh, they can be traced back to um, a, a place near Spain and France. And I, I don't know if even the place exists anymore, but uh, back then it did. I think it's called um, Basque, if I'm correct. Okay. It's called Basque, and um, this is where the blood, this is where the scientists could trace where this bloodline originated. But after that, it just falls off. So it's kind of like... Um, they can't really find the origins as far as as any animals or you know humans from the past or what whatnot. So they they are thinking they're like an alien hybrid or something. I don't know. But scientists have tried to clone this blood and they cannot clone negative blood types. They cannot clone the blood. Just, it hasn't just couldn't do it. So anyone who's a uh, negative blood type, they can't be cloned. Um, and also, there's lots of websites if you go, and they talk about the different characteristics of the blood types. And um, a lot of people with negative blood types have had, um, like, what do they call them, UFO encounters, paranormal experiences, you know, seeing things or seeing into other dimensions, truth seekers, um, you know, people that just are... Um, you know, looking for that spiritual side of life. You know, just, you know, I would just say like um, anyone who has like increased psychic abilities, anyone who can hear like better than most people or see differently than most people. And like I have a lot of those characteristics because I am a negative blood type and I have had all most of those experiences that they talk about. So, um... If you're if you don't know your blood type and you've had some crazy things happen to you, maybe you should go check it out and understand why. And they call this blood type like the royal bloodline or the holy grail bloodline or whatever you want to believe. Um, so, I mean, you really need to go research it if you don't know your own blood type because it could tell you a lot about yourself and it could tell you um, a lot about the experiences you're having. Like um, since I was a child. I could always like see into other dimensions naturally like I would just stare at a wall and it would start to open up like I would just stare at something and like they they say that these um, beings like to communicate with um, negative blood type people because they possess some of the same what do they call superhuman powers as they do so they want to communicate with them and blah 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 so Yes, like when I was a kid, I could just look at a wall and it would just start to move and or open or, and you know, beings would just come. I it, I could make portals as a child, and you know, that's that's some powerful stuff, you know. Especially when you don't know what you're doing and you're just sitting there using your imagination, and um, like a lot of people see like strange stuff in the sky or strange clouds in their their they're taking pictures of all this stuff and putting it online and I've been seeing stuff like that forever and they're using this cloak technology um, and they have it now you can buy a cloak blanket and then you can find it online but they have this cloak technology and like depending on what angle that you're looking at you can't see it but see my eyes like I know everybody always looking at my eyes are strange I look I've I got smeared stuff and they're like, why? And I have astigmatism. My eyes are shaped very differently. And I don't know what's going on, but 
I can see like a curve. Like my eyes are curved more like a football than a sphere. So the cloaking technology that they use is for mainly people with, you know, corrected vision or normal eyes, I guess. But I can see through that. Like I, I, I say that don't look right. Something wrong, you know. What's going on up there? Y'all y'all need to fix it. There's a glitch, you know. I can see that. And whenever I look up in the sky, I just laugh. Like, I was like, are y'all really serious? Y'all trying to fool people with that? Come on. But I think most people, you know, they they don't notice it or they don't understand or they don't, you know, see what I see. But hey, you know, you say something, you're crazy, right? <laughs> so I just, uh, I just like, oh, you know, they're they're observing today you know awesome anyway because you know, I don't have no beef with them they're cool to me so <laughs> shoot I might be one of their illegitimate children who knows you know they, they did say that we were a hybrid race of beings so who knows anyway <laughs> so yeah if you have like astigmatism and you're RH negative and your blood type, you probably can see the same thing I can see. And you can probably, as a child, you probably could create, you know, portals in your wall. Um, or you could probably actually travel and land and talk with these people and all this kind of good stuff, you know, because you might just be related to them. Who knows? Um, I just think it's a wonderful time that we're living in. And you know that plane that disappeared, you know, in Asia? Do y'all remember that movie, the event, how that plane disappeared and went to the other dimension or whatever? Well, um, that's probably what happened because there's portals being opened up everywhere. There's things that's cloaked everywhere. Y'all just don't know. And, you know, they didn't find any parts of that plane, so obviously it just disappeared. Um, there's more places on Earth that have portals like the Bermuda Triangle, I mean the devil, the Devil's Triangles over there in Asia, like over the ocean over there. So that that could have been an opening right there. And more and more openings are happening around the world. You know, the whirlpools in the uh, water. I've, you know, it. I mean, they're just getting you ready, and they're implementing things out into society, and people are going crazy because a man wore a skirt, but. If you can't even accept your own people and your own human race, how are you going to accept some other beings? I mean, they're not going to reveal themselves to you when you're still bashing your own kind. I'm serious, you know. They are working with people who influence us greatly. And they work with these people to get this influence out to get humans more tolerable before they will even, you know, show show the real them, you know. They're not going to come out when you're you're still, you know, trying to kill somebody because of their skin tone or their sexual preference. <laughs> Are you serious? So if you're like a, a firm believer in UFOs and uh, interdimensional beings, and but you have, you know, prejudice towards your brother or your fellow man, they're not going to even come try to communicate with you at all. They're not even going to be like, uh, hey, would you... Um, want to communicate with us no they're not going to communicate with lower vibrational beings because if you can't accept someone a man walking around in a skirt you damn sure not going to be able to accept what they got on okay <laughs> so if you want to evolve and open your mind you need to do that with your neighbors your your friends your people on earth your human your human counterparts. You need to accept them fully before you start to try to look for some aliens or some interdimensional beings, okay? So, um, that with that message, I'm going to go, like, wash my face. <laughs> but I had to get this, like, video out, like, as soon as I woke up because it was, like, fresh on my mind and I've been talking to, like, someone online and they're, they're experiencing, like, similar things and I just want to get this information out there for those people that are, you know, like me and wanted to um, have some stuff confirmed, you know. So I hope you enjoy this video and pass it around. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe.